Hello guys, this is SP here bringing you a tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server. Before you start this, make sure you need to know a few stuff is that you need at least 4GB RAM because how much you just take up a lot of RAM. The pro is that the pros about this is that it is easy, simple, and doesn't really take a lot of effort. But the cons is that it does take up a lot of RAM and in sometimes it can lag. And also that this is only this is only good for if you're gonna play with four or five friends. So let's begin. First thing you wanna do is make a folder, call it Minecraft server, which I've done. So let me just do it here. Oh god, new folder Minecraft server. There you go. And now you need to download Tamachi. Link will be in the description below. Just click that and you'll download it. Download Tamachi and also after you've downloaded it and installed it, you want to go Minecraft.net. Click download and then click Minecraft server dot no. Um, where is it? Yes, in here. If you want to say it easily, just download Minecraft server.exe. If you want to do all this, like, more stuff in it and edit your server more, then you can download the jar file. So, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to download the jar file because I want to edit my server more. Put some more tweaks into it. So, yeah, there you go. I've downloaded it. Now I'm going to... There you go, this is my downloads folder, this, um, just find where you have downloaded it in, so mine's here, and now I just drag this, um, into my Minecraft um, server folder, and now this is it, and, because first time you open it, it says that you don't have enough RAM, so when you open it, it doesn't open with the right amount of RAM, so I'm going to show you a program that helped me out a lot, and that is is minecraft fix i think so there'll be a link in the description below where is it um, uh, this is it really uh, you just download it it's an application doesn't give you any viruses just scan it for you just in case there you go congratulations note that it's found those results and now just open it And there you go. Now you choose what you're on, 32 bit or 64 bit. Now you wonder, some people might be wondering, what what is this? What does this mean? Just click start if you want to find out your if it's 32 or 64 bit. Click start, then click computer. Don't click it, but right click computer. Let me show you all this and click properties. And now here you just scroll down and it should have all your specs, so your RAM your gigahertz and your computer name and all that as you can see mine is 64 bit operating system so I'm just going to choose this and 64 and just choose GUI interface on and just create a file and then when you click create a file you have to choose the folder that you made your minecraft server in so mine was on my desktop which is um, where's my desktop there you go, click desktop and then find my Minecraft server folder, open it and now just gonna type in RAM, make sure it's a dot bat and just save and it has been created. There you go. Oh yeah there you go. What wait two seconds done this wrong. Don't worry about this, I did this part wrong. Just put it, oh, put it here. Oh, there you go. Then you should have these two stuff in there. And if you have Java 6, then this should just um, 
run just like that it should automatically run but if you have Java 7 then you click this edit so edit is edit here and make sure you change this to 7 so if you have J if you have Java 6 then you type in 6 but if that's by default but if you have Java 7 then change the 6 to a 7 and now there, there you go you've done that and then you just click save and the way you can find out is just by going in control panel and typing in Java and then clicking it. Hurry up. I don't know why it's taking forever. Oh, there you go. And then once the will can do any. Yeah, once you, this comes up, you just go here to Java by general, click view, and there you go. You'll, so, it, if it was Java 6, then it should say 1.6, but I have Java 7, so it's going to say 1.7, so I changed this RAM to 1.7, but by default, it's one. By default, it is Java 6. So, after you have, have these two stuff in there, you just click RAM. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, there you go. Click. You click that, and then it should some take some time, and then it will open this. And if you watch, when like it will start coming up with all these errors and all that crap. Just don't worry about that. As long as it is loading up all these files in there. Once you've clicked this, yeah, then it will open. It will just load all these files in there. They'll just magically appear. And just wait for this to be done. So it should say done 20 dot all that, yeah. And then first time you do this, just click, you need to type in stop. Because I don't know, or but it takes because when you click X, it doesn't really close. You click stop, and then you have to run it again. Because <coughs> then the arrows will just disappear. So let this just prepare itself. <laughs> just take its time. There you go. It's done. Now you can just click that. Or you can type in stop. Either one will work. But stop. If you type in stop, then it saves your server and then shuts it down. There you go. It saves your server and shuts it down. Now you have done your Minecraft, making your Minecraft server. Now it's onto the Hamachi. And by the way, I've got to tell you this, but um, your friends need to have Hamachi too for this to work. Friends need to have Hamachi too. Now the first time you all like actually open Hamachi. It should say offline and you just click this power button and I'll start probing and all this rubbish. Yeah, just wait for it. Make sure your friends have a match here though. Yeah, there you go. And then you should have your personal IP here. There you go. This is your personal IP. That's my personal IP. You will have a totally different one. And um, now that you've done this, you click network and you create a new network I'm gonna just call it abbas123 um, for 5 and just password is 123 so I'm going well there you go I've created pretty much this is like creating a network yeah so I've created a network now and now this is from my, pre um, my friends perspective now they will open a matchy They'll open a matchy and they'll have to join an existing network. So they'll type in your network name, which is Abbas123456565, and the password. If you don't know it, then leave blank, but ours is 123. And this is my own link. And then they should automatically connect, connect to this network, and there will be two people in it. And now your friend, all he has to do is open Minecraft.
make sure you have the server running. So yeah, you'll open Minecraft like two seconds of server right running. And just run it. If you need any help then you can message me on YouTube or just type in your question in in the comments and um, the, all the links will be in the description so there you go the server's running and yes there you go all your friend needs to do is click multiplayer make sure um, add server make sure that he is in make sure that he is in your um Hamachi network and all you need to do is just type that in type yours in so you you can either tell him or he can click, click that and then you'll have your name it goes onto your name and then you can find it from there but yeah you just tell you just tell him to write this down and you'll write it down in there and he clicks done and it should connect if it doesn't connect that means that you have some, done something wrong so yeah guys that's it really so i hope this helped you guys and i'll see you in the next video oh yeah and i forgot that